Donna Griffin. <laughs> Donna Griffin. How you doing, honey? How are you? Honey. It's me in the flesh. Honey. The thing is moving. Inspector Carrigan. Inspector Carrigan, you're in charge with keeping decorum in the courtroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, I'm sorry. Inspector I ain't got nothing. It's still a court. I know he wants you up, but it's still a I, I know, that's right. Inspector Quinn. I'm easy. I'm hurting. Come on, Inspector. My shoulders. Inspector Quinn. I got uh, degenerate disc disease, but um, I'm nice seeing you again. You too, but I mean, my doctor hours are after four. No, oh, man, I need a massage bad. That's what I mean. I, I do that after work. No, oh, what time? Well, what time do you think we'll be done? To oh, I apologize. You're on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's my other profession, Judge. <laughs> Part of your job is to uh, maintain decorum in the courtroom. Yeah, only 20 hours because I'm disabled. Donna you came know. up and says, uh, good morning, honey. What do you... I don't know if she was talking to you or me. Yeah, I was talking to you. Oh, to Your you. Honor. Oh, Your Honor. Here we go. Yeah, we ain't worrying about him right now. Oh, you have a parking ticket. What do you want to tell me about it? Yes, it was my son's girlfriend. It was my vehicle. They got in an argument. They broke up. She went to Pawtucket and parked the car at her sister's house on the street so I could get the ticket because she's evil like that. You don't like this girl? No, no, I don't. Uh -huh. No, I don't. I don't hate her, but I dislike her very much. Are they back together? Oh, no. Mm -mm. They're going to get back together. No, they're not. Yeah. I bet you $100 right now no, and a lot for dinner. Betting. We're not betting anything. Forget mm -hmm. that. Okay. The last, time, the last time you were here, you had your dancing shoes on. Donna A. Griffin. You going to dance for us this morning? I'll dance a little bit. That's all I could, I know, so I know I'm a hot mess this morning, but you know what, it's all good. All right, what about the parking ticket? It was overnight. Yeah, it was overnight, and she did that on purpose, and we got the vehicle, opened the glove compartment, and there was a parking ticket. I moved to North Carolina, it didn't work out at all. So I forgot about it, I came back, my mind ain't worth two pennies, and I'm here to do what I have to do. Okay. Well, what you have to do is you have to pay $20 for I knew that because I used up my thing last time. I know it, but I sure do. Thank you. All right, you moved out of state, then you came back. Why'd you come back? Yeah, uh, because um, my cousins threw me out, my daughter and I out, on Christmas before 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So I had trials and tribulations, and now I'm back in this cold state, and I'm hurting, and all kind of mess. But. I'm still... You got thrown out of the house on Christmas yeah, Day. Yeah, because of my daughter. She was crying. They gave her a DNA Explorer kit. What kid out uh, five years old know what a DNA Explorer kit is? So she said, this ain't mine. And they told her how great, ungrateful she was. She needed to be, you know, you'd be happy. People are helping. You know, I ain't got time for that foolishness. So I, I, Christmas, I moved. My girlfriend came, drove an hour to come pick my daughter and I up with all our stuff. We stayed out there for two Two, month, uh, two weeks until I got the money up in order to get back here. And these nice people gave me $400 to get my daughter and I back home. And that was a good blessing. Your daughter, you get thrown out of the house on Christmas Day, then yeah. you come back here, then you have no money, right? Then you, yeah, all, because, all because your daughter didn't like her Christmas gift, exactly. right? Exactly. They threw you out. Then exactly. you come here. Then I come back here to you, stay with my stepdaughter, and, and she threw me up. So. I'm done with the people. Then your son's fighting with his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, that, they're done. You better pay the $20. It's a hot mess. Like, he's going to pay it. I'm going to pay it, but he's going to pay it. What to do is have your daughter call the cousins down in North Carolina and tell them she took that DNA test and they're not related. Ah! There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. Y'all have a good day now. One more. Good morning, Maria. Maria, you have a uh, ticket on Child Street. Yes, I received by mail. I received by mail, uh, and I even knew I had a ticket in Charles Street. To be honest with you, I work for the last 21 years in Delta Dental 10 Charles Street, and I'm not familiar with this area because this is, was in the other side of Charles Street. This is, was in my lunchtime. I was looking for a place calling uh, Platinum Recognition Plex. Uh, I had a half an hour to go and come back, and I was looking for the place. Yeah, so you were rushing to get back. Uh, I, I want to do everything in uh, half an hour, so and I was looking for the, the place to go, because right. the place call, uh, closed at 12 o'clock in Friday, uh, in Thursdays, I think was the Thursday, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. 
Well, you have to do two things. Either you have to tell your boss to give you more time for lunch, or you have to take less, you have to eat less, right? One or the to other. To be honest with you, my boss was real good to me, but the last two years I had so many problems. I was out for so long. I had cancer. I was treated from cancer. After I burned my face, a pressure cooker exploded my face. I was out for a long time. Two months ago, I broke my foot, so my boss was so good to me. <laughs> Believe me, I was a very unlucky person. <laughs> no more. I can't do it. I'm afraid something's going to happen right now. Jeff. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> All right. But I'm still alive. Yeah. Well, you're looking good. Thank you. You're very vibrant, and you're alive, and you're driving yes. the car, and you're still working there, and you have time to have lunch, and. But I have to tell you, um, I, drive, uh, I have my driver's license for the last 40 years, and I never had a car accident or anything. I, I'm a very careful person in driving. Yeah. Well, until now. Until now, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll promise I will be a good driver from now on. For, for the next 40 years, you won't come yes. back? Yeah, if I'm still alive. <laughs> How do you feel about this, Inspector Quinn? <laughs> Your Honor, I'm still concerned of, of the broken ankle and all the other issues that uh, she's had happen in that short amount of time. I'm just concerned about myself right now. <laughs> I'm afraid that, that comma might jump on me and I'm not gonna get close I'll, to I'll, slip and, I'll slip and fall going in the back. Inspector Quinn's worried about the comma in the courtroom, <laughs> right? He thinks it may affect him. <clears throat> all right, Maria, I mean, you're not close. You were like, you're not close to where, where I would dismiss a case. I mean, you, you were doing 15 miles over the limit in, in the school zone, you know, so you got two choices. You can pay $50 or come back and have a trial. I don't have to come back because I was in the area, so nothing I have to say. If I come back, I will say exactly the same thing. All right, so it's $50. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Let's review. In the span of two years, Maria battled cancer had a pressure cooker blow up in her face, and she broke her foot. And a response to all of that misfortune? Believe me, I was a very unlucky person. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like Pete Best saying, boy, I'm lucky I got fired from the bagels because it allowed me time to pursue my solo career. Or Ronald Wayne, one of the co-founders of Apple saying, I'm so lucky I sold my 10% of Apple for $800. Because could you imagine the taxes on 95 billion? Maria, your positive attitude is an inspiration, and your string of bad luck is a concern. Please drive carefully so that you, one, don't get hurt again, and two, never visit our courtroom again. Karma's a b I just can't take that chance. Come on, how cool is that? If you'd like to see more cases like this one, tune into Court in Providence every weekday. Excuse me? You didn't know Court in Providence is also a TV show. Oh, wow, your life just got substantially better. To find out what channel we're on, go to courtandprovidence.com, click on your local listings, scroll down till you find your hometown, then start doing your happy dance. That's it. Move it. Move it. Nice. All rise and hit subscribe so you don't miss the latest viral moments like this one. Share these videos and weigh in on the cases. You be the judge.